Ian, this video is for you um, to explain. You had said, what, what do you got there? And you know what? I love it when someone asks. First of all, I got a current limited power supply here because I'm a little bit concerned about blowing this thing up. Okay, so this... is the music from Outer Space um, Ultimate, right here it's called. Right up to this line is the Ultimate. And this part from here to here is called the Ultimate Expander. And this part uh, is, well what this is is it's a bunch of modules. If you're familiar with module, modular synthesizers from the 70s or whatever, that's what this is. It's a bunch of modules that, um, some of them are normal together. Some of them are isolated and independent and have to be patched together with uh, ban these banana plugs. These. I got a bunch of these. Old school banana plugs, banana jacks. Um, but what this consists of is three uh, independent VCOs. And um, there's this one is this one right now is VCO2. There's this really cool mixer section here that mixes them with noise. You've got your noise there. And then that noise can be... That noise can be fed into uh, any of these from this noise outputs here. But anyway, it's normaled into this output here. So... It modulates. You can... You can Essentially, what, what this thing does is you, you, you can modulate different, different, this is wave shaping, this is wave creating. So these things here, uh, this is a pulse switch. This is um, the pitch of each VCO. This is a fine tune for each VCO. So for example, let's, let's listen to one. That's just your raw, bare, voltage controlled oscillator and then a fine frequency and then this pulse width modulation you get some really cool pulse width effects from that and then down here we have different pulse width, mo pulse width modulation different ways of syncing uh, log uh, control voltage linear control voltage into this so you can control this oscillator in this case I've got oscillator 2 being controlled by the sample and hold circuit. And the sample and hold circuit, it doesn't sample and hold that well. I can't figure out what's going on with it. But I'm, that's, that's a part of this. I'm troubleshooting it. There's that classic sample rate. There's that classic sample and hold sound you hear from 1950s or 1970s uh, space movies. And there's sort of a portamento control on here, glide. Makes the front edge of the wave sharper or, and then also portamento as you probably are familiar with. There's full portamento. prefer to add this trigger to it. There. There's your classic sample and hold. That's without the control voltage. There's a low frequency oscillator section here, which is modulating this VCO. <laughs> There's all the video game sounds you ever wanted. Add a little noise. Okay, and then there's a voltage controlled uh, low pass filter here.
this LFO mod affects how much this low frequency oscillator modulates the signal and resonance. Just learning what resonance is, it just sounds like a, the addition of a lot more high frequency harmonics. Yeah. Of course, of course my kids, my kids figured out right away how to make fart sounds with this thing, of course. <laughs> they made the rudest, they basically came up with the rudest possible sounds. You can get some Monty Python embarrassing sounds to come out of this. Anything that sounds like liquid is going to be embarrassing. And to be honest with you, I built this thing, and then I had to sort of... Let's take a tour back behind the back. Anyway... Um, attack release generator, attack release. There's another ADSR generator on this side here. This is attack, decay, sustain, release. And then you can, you can manually trigger it. And there's a lot of this stuff that I don't even know. I don't know what it does. The attenuators, it's pretty obvious. These are just potentiometers, so you can, you can attenuate signals if they happen to be clipping. Um... Like I said, attack release generator, uh, mixer for these, LFO1, LFO2, voltage controlled amplifier. This is a repeat gate, which is pretty simple. It's just a, there, it's modulating. It's supplying a linear control voltage to this oscillator. Let's try it. There. Let's get it doing something. A lot of times... I just patch stuff together just to see what the dickens it'll do because I actually don't know what half of this stuff does and had to learn it as I went. Here's the back. I have a case for this that I haven't put it in yet. But uh, all this section is where all the, all the different signals can be patched together. I still have to label those. Um, this is the this part is called the ultimate expander. This part is called the ultimate. And it uses the TLO74, TLO82, TLO71 uh, chips. And um, here's what it looks like under there. Here's what it looks like as you pull out. It's been a lot of, it's been a lot of, uh, a lot of work building this. But uh, I wanted something the kids could play with. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I made a pretty cool case for it, which I'll put it in. But you can't put it in the case until everything works. Anyway, Ian, that's what my music from outer space ultimate and music from outer space ultimate expander does. I'm still troubleshooting it, but I'm... 85% there, and it's really satisfying. <laughs>